Hey you guys, it's me Seren, back with another video. I hope this video is not too dark. I know I'm in a little bit of a different setting right now, um, but that's because I moved my computer from my little back office space um, out into my living room. My bookshelf is behind me, and I just didn't feel like moving it back before I filmed this video, so hopefully you guys will enjoy this little bit of a different space. Um, I doubt too many videos will be filmed out here, but I just didn't feel like moving my computer back so uh, hopefully it's not too dark because uh, actually I don't have an overhead light out, out here. I have a lamp over here that's on but it's still a little bit dim. So today is day 13. Has to just look and see exactly what day it was. Today is day 13 of Hidden Figures and today's Hidden Figure is one that was very highly requested. Valerie L. Thomas. Valerie L. Thomas, born on February 8th, 1943, who is an American scientist and inventor, a project manager and data analyst at NASA. She was responsible for developing the Landsat satellite program, which was the first of its kind used to transfer images from space back to Earth. She also invented the illusion transmitter which uses concave mirrors to relay three-dimensional images and for which she received a patent in 1980. Her illusion transmitter technology has been used in NASA imaging, in medical devices for surgery, and in modern television and video screens. So it's like in all of our devices. <laughs> Valerie Thomas was born in February 1943 in Maryland. She became interested in technology as a child in the 50s after observing her father tinkering with their black and white television and seeing the mechanical parts inside the TV. Despite her interest, Thomas was not encouraged to explore science as her friends, family members, and teachers all thought electronics were for boys. At the age of eight, she checked a book called The Boy's First Book on Electronics out of the local library, beginning to teach herself the basics of tech. Yet in her teenage years, she attended a newly integrated all-girls high school that downplayed math and science as acceptable careers for women. After graduating from high school, Thomas attended Morgan State University as one of only two women majoring in physics. She excelled in her mathematics and science courses at Morgan State, and after graduating with a, de a degree in physics, excuse me, accepted a position as a mathematical data analyst at NASA in 1964. She developed data systems to support satellite operations control centers from 1964 to 1970 and oversaw the creation of the Landsat program from 1970 to 1981, becoming an international expert in Landsat data products. The Landsat program worked in the pursuit of being able to visualize Earth from space, and it is the longest running enterprise for acquisition of satellite imagery of Earth. She was also one of the image processing specialists who facilitated the Large Area Crop Inventory Experiment, or LACI, which was a project that showed for the first time that crop monitoring could be done with satellite imagery. In 1976, she attended a scientific exhibition where she viewed an optical illusion using concave mirrors. The illusion involved a light bulb appearing lit even though it had been removed from its socket and inspired Thomas to study flat and concave mirror images for NASA use more extensively. In 1977, she conducted a concave mirror experiment on if it were possible to present present and transmit realistic three-dimensional images, resulting in the creation of the Illusion Transmitter, a device that has improved the quality of television and video and is widely used in today's cell phones and electronic devices. On October 21st, 1980, she obtained the patent for the Illusion Transmitter, a device that NASA also continues to use to this day. Thomas worked her way up to Associate Chief of the Space Science Data Operations Office at NASA, which was unheard of for a black American woman. She served as the Space Physics Analysis Network, or SPAN, project manager from 1986 to 1990, growing SPAN from a scientific network with about 100 computer nodes to one connecting about 2,700 computer nodes worldwide. In 1990, SPAN became a major part of NASA's scientific science networking, and the backbone of today's interconnected internet. She also participated in projects related to Halley's Comet, ozone research, satellite technology, and the Voyager spacecraft. At the end of August 1995, she retired from NASA. Post-retirement, Thomas served as an associate at the UMBC Center for Multi-Core Hybrid Productivity Research. 
She's a mentor for youth through such organizations as the National Technical Association and Women in Science and Engineering. Thomas's illusion transmitter has been de depicted in a children's fictional book, television, and video games, and she has also authored many scientific papers on science imagery. For her achievements, Thomas has received numerous awards, including the Goddard Space Flight Center Award of Merit and NASA's Equal Opportunity Medal. And for a quote I want to read you guys, in college, I majored in physics with almost a double major in math. When I started work at NASA, I had not seen a computer except in science fiction movies. Since my job involved writing computer programs, I decided to learn as much as possible about computers. I took advantage of all types of opportunities to learn about computers and computing. It was very exciting. And that's Valerie L. Thomas, a hidden figure. There will be more links and information in the description box. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. Food for thought as always, and I will see you guys tomorrow with another hidden figure. Peace.